hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching today thank you guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about some key things to understand about cyprus yes guys um if you are new please do not go without subscribing please subscribe now so that you don't forget okay thank you so much now like i said i'm going to be talking about key points to note about cyprus i will talk about cyprus I will talk about the location of Cyprus, if it's in Europe or not. I will talk about the area, how the area of Cyprus, both north and south, looks like. I will also talk about the types, north and south. I will also talk about the people in both areas. I will talk about the schools. I will talk about the admissions and uh, transportation as well. I will talk about the weather and jobs. Okay. So guys, um, like I said, do not go without subscribing. Please subscribe and support the movement. Thank you. So now, um, there is something international students need to understand. First of all, Cyprus. Um, it might interest you to know that Cyprus is not one. We have actually two types of Cyprus. Let me say types. There are two Cyprus. We have the North Cyprus and we also have the South Cyprus. Yeah, it is uh, imperative that a lot of people don't know that uh, there is North Cyprus and there is also South Cyprus. If you didn't know, there is. Okay. So now, let me start. Why do we have two Cyprus? This occurred in some time. Cyprus was one before and around 1974 and 75. There was a, a war, something that occurred between the Turkish people and the, the people of Cyprus. Let me say between the Turks and the Greeks, and uh, because basically Cyprus was uh, Cyprus uh, was an English-speaking country, and uh, you know, colonized by the British. So, in 1974, this uh, problem occurred, and um, Turkey took North Cyprus. Why uh, some of the people? run to the southern part of cyprus and was uh, where it is controlled by the greek okay so north cyprus is the part that is mostly of turkish and is controlled by turkey why south cyprus is mostly controlled by greek let me say controlled by the greece okay now the population in north cyprus let me say most of the inhabitants in north cyprus are the turkish citizens they basically speak the Turkish, okay? While in South Cyprus, it is a mix, uh, let me say, mixed race. Some Greeks, some Cypriots, some Turkish, all right? But uh, not really like South Cyprus is uh, predominantly of the Turkish people. So that is what you need to know. Now, let's go to the location. First of all, where is Cyprus? Let me talk about now Cyprus first, or Cyprus in general. Cyprus in general is found in the Mediterranean Sea, all right? Now, uh, now uh, south of Turkey and east of Greece, that is where Cyprus is. And you need to understand that Cyprus is an island. And what is an island? An island is a piece of uh, land surrounded by water, okay? So Cyprus is found in the Mediterranean Sea. Now... Like I said, Cyprus is of two. So, North Cyprus is the part which is controlled by Turkey. And now, where is North Cyprus located? North Cyprus, like I said, is located south of Turkey and east of Greece. And uh, I will talk about North Cyprus first before I come to South Cyprus. First, the location I already gave you. And now, is it in Europe? Is North Cyprus in Europe? Well, to answer the question, North Cyprus is not in Europe. Okay, now Cyprus is not in Europe, and um, it is not, like I said, controlled by Turkey, so it is not in Europe, okay? Now, the population, who composed or who, who made up the population of now Cyprus, or the now population of now Cyprus is made up of what type of nationality? Um, like I said, the predominant population in now Cyprus is uh, the Turkish, alright? Most of the people there are Turkish citizens. Then we also have um, a lot of internationals who migrated to North Cyprus. Like uh, we have uh, mostly Pakistanis, we have uh, Indians, we have uh, mostly Philippines, we have mostly Nepalese. We also have uh, a couple of uh, people from the United Kingdom, like tourists. 
all right a couple of them coming from czech republic most por uh, tourists most of them to come a couple of them or a handful of them also come from the united states and um switzerland then we also have uh africans like uh, nigerians we also have zimbabweans we also have cameroonians we also have uh, congolese all right we also have a couple of kenyans so now cyprus is basically a land of everyone though it's a small country or let me say an island but there is a lot of international population all right a lot of the people in our cyprus are mostly foreigners so it's a small country of less than uh, a million people it's basically not up to a million people but because of the international influx the population is almost a million and a half now then um the area is not that uh funny like i said it's an island somehow sloppy but uh, when it comes now to the people the people of north cyprus they are somehow uh, not really that entertaining but they are well um cultured let me say they may not be that entertaining but they are loving people all right i love them they are people with good hearts sometimes all right they like to share and that is how they are now um what about the schools the schools in north cyprus it might also interest you to understand that most of the schools in north cyprus let me say when it comes to the universities there are a lot of universities we have um in north cyprus let me start from the oldest that i know is the european university of lefke you also have uh, eastern mediterranean university you also have near east university you also have uh, cyprus international university you also have guinea american university and you also have um, final international university you also have cyprus science university you also have the university of kyrenia all right then when it comes to primary schools there are a lot of turkish uh, schools that is for primary you also have international schools like the british school of kyrenia you also have uh, american school of cyprus there are a lot of them all right you also have another university called rafuf donkas university so that is uh, how their schools are then when it comes to hotels like i said cyprus is an island not cyprus to be precise because now i'm talking about not cyprus they have a lot of hotels a lot of beaches all right and uh, tourists do visit this island a lot renowned hotels include uh, akapuko hotel we have shattered lambosa you also have uh, alexos hotel you also have the kratos hotel you also have a uh, school king hotel you also have grand pasha hotel you also have pia bella hotel then you also have merik hotel there are a lot of them in north cyprus a lot all right then now when it comes to uh, the admissions in north cyprus now cyprus basically have uh, let me say two intakes they have the september intake and they also have uh, the february intake let me say the winter and the spring intake okay then for the september intake let me say the intake which is winter that lectures is going to start um, by october each year every year admissions usually commence from june july and august and sometimes early september late september and early october but uh, closes because lectures will obviously start in october every year so that is what you need to know then when it comes to um, the spring intake the 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 winter semester is going to end in january let me say not january december then admissions for the winter uh, the spring semester which is a february intake is going to start by december each year and push through into february all right until lectures begins in late february and early march so that is what you need to to understand about their universities then when it comes to their transportation like i said earlier on before um cyprus is a small island and an island is a piece of land surrounded by water so do not expect to find um trains or let me say underground roads in cyprus it's a small country and has no train 
And their transportation system is basically buses, school buses, public transportation, and uh, let me say a few bicycles and stuff like that. The people most of the times they really don't ride uh, bicycles like in Denmark, but uh, their main means of transportation, public transportation, is um, the, the 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 city bus. All right, where you got to pay maybe a five Turkish lira or a ten Turkish lira to go to your desired destination then when it comes to the weather the weather in cyprus is somehow very complicated compared to european weather it doesn't snows in north cyprus snow doesn't fall in north cyprus um, for reasons which i was told is because of geography and uh, because of the location of the island as well so that is what you should uh, know but uh, during the winters there is a uh, intense and heavy rainfalls temperature sometimes drop to about uh, negative uh, not negative five degrees four degrees but i have never experienced a uh, temperature below four degrees then when it comes to the winter that is for winter then when it comes to the summer summers are extremely hot that is the reason why a lot of tourists move into this country um, temperature sometimes rises to around 38, 39, 40 degrees centigrade sometimes, especially in Nicosia because Nicosia is highly crowded and uh, sometimes very hot as well. You know, um, a population which is too much or let me say an area or a country or a city which is overcrowded sometimes will usually have higher temperatures. So that is what uh, Nicosia looks like. But places like Kyrenia, Famagusta, and other places like Lefke in North Cyprus are not that hot. Then um, you should also understand that for you to move to North Cyprus, there is only one way in. And the way you can move in is through the Istanbul airport. You can only take a flight from Africa, from Europe, from America. And if you are moving to North Cyprus, you will stop at the Istanbul airport. Then you enter another flight to the Aegean airport in North Cyprus. So that is how um, North Cyprus is or some of the things you need to know. Like I said, the people are welcoming. They have a lot of beaches as well. I have been to two of their beaches because I really don't like water. But I think the beach of Lord's Palace Hotel and Casino is superb and that of uh, a couple hotel a couple hotel is a hotel located around the magusa kyrenia stretch for those of you who are watching or who are in now cyprus you will understand what i mean then now that is the information i think you need to know some of the key things you need to understand about now cyprus and again accommodation in now cyprus is not that easy to get before in 2018 it was somehow not difficult but nowadays a lot of international students find it difficult to get easy accommodation in north cyprus so if you must move to north cyprus yes um like i said if you must move to north cyprus try to let me say get someone in cyprus who is in cyprus already to get an accommodation for you because it's gonna be somehow difficult all right now let's um, talk a little bit about uh, South Cyprus. But before you, we talk about South Cyprus, I also want you to understand that if you are in North Cyprus and you are looking for, let me talk a little bit about the jobs. Always go out to look for jobs, all right? Don't wait in the house and expect to get jobs. It's going to be relatively difficult for you. Okay, so that's what you should understand. Now, for South Cyprus, the weather in South Cyprus is a little bit European, though um, it may not be too much slow there. Let me say, it's during um, winter, slow might not be falling that much as compared to other countries, especially in the Scandinavia. But uh, South Cyprus is more of European, like I said, it is uh, in Europe. So if you have a uh, um, a visa in South Cyprus, you can easily move to other European countries, all right? Then, um, you also need to understand that uh, the location of South Cyprus, of course, is still in Cyprus, but the people, comparing North Cyprus and South Cyprus, South Cyprus is more populated, and they have a refugee camp as well, like most other European countries, and beautiful cities like uh, 
Pafos, Lanaka, Limassol, and all those other places. They also have good schools in South Cyprus, but you should understand that schools in South Cyprus are relatively expensive, like the University of Nicosia and some other business schools in South Cyprus, and their admissions is run the same way European schools run admissions. That is to say, they have um, an intake that is from um, October as well. That is the, 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 the period in which a lot of international students move to South Cyprus. Um, again, their admissions is not that difficult to do. Transportation there is somehow advanced compared to North Cyprus because, remember, there you will have a lot of advanced stuff. Since it's Europe, we all know what I'm talking about compared to North Cyprus. All right. I already talked about the weather. For the beaches, they have beautiful beaches as well compared to 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 North Cyprus. But you need to know that, like I said, they would be advanced more than North Cyprus. South Cyprus is advanced in many things. All right. They have uh, an airport in, is it in Lanaka? Yes, I think so. And the people as well are welcoming. So before you even start thinking of uh, going to Cyprus, there is something you need to understand. Because international students, they don't know. Sometimes somebody will be in North Cyprus and he is telling you that he is in Cyprus and you may think that this particular individual is in South Cyprus. No. I used to think too like that because uh, when I moved to Cyprus some years ago, I was thinking that I was going to be watching football from Europe. Um, there is a football team in South Cyprus. It is called Apoi Nicosia. So I, I love football a lot. I used to think that I would go to the stadium and watch football. But until I arrived, arrived now at Cyprus, that was when my brain started um, to work. For hotels in South Cyprus, of course, there are going to be beautiful hotels more than that in North Cyprus. For that, I know it's not a doubt. So these are some of the things you should understand. All right. South Cyprus is not North Cyprus. Know that. You can leave Africa directly to to South Cyprus, but you cannot go without a visa. You need a visa as an African to go to South Cyprus. Um, some countries as well in Asia need visas, all right? But to come to North Cyprus is visa-free, though you can still decide to apply for a visa at the Turkish embassy in your home country, all right? But in this case, it's going to be a transit visa, not just any type of visa. But uh, if you ask me, I would say if you don't have enough money, and you have someone who can sponsor your academics, you can go to Cyprus and study. Now, you will be asking me which of the Cyprus. It depends. Like I said, accommodation in South Cyprus is expensive than in North Cyprus. The reason is because most of their schools, they will either ask you to pay like two months accommodation, five months up front before you can get uh, the permit for accommodation but uh, in North Cyprus you look for your accommodation when you arrive in North Cyprus all right then again um, remember in North Cyprus though you will be paying your accommodation in the British pounds but in South Cyprus they are using the, the, the euros all right and again know that there are three currencies used in North Cyprus um, the euro the Turkish lira and the British pounds I have talked about this thing so many times so that uh, you should know, all right? In schools in North Cyprus, you always pay in Euro, but in South Cyprus, everything is in Euro. That is to say, schools, accommodation, or whatever. But in South Cyprus, you pay, you have, you are paying Euros for your studies or tuition fee. Probably paying your house rent in British pounds or Turkish lira, all right? That is uh, what is happening in North Cyprus, and when you even work. In North Cyprus, you are paid using a Turkish lira. They pay you with Turkish lira. So these are some of the things you should understand before you start thinking of where to go to. But if you ask me, I will recommend South Cyprus. If you have money, if you have enough money, go to South Cyprus because you stand a chance to get more opportunities than in North Cyprus. Like first, if you have to move to another country using a student visa from North Cyprus, and most embassies there, there are not many, first of all. There are about seven of them in North Cyprus, and so most of them don't even grant student visa. So you have to take a plane again from Cyprus to Turkey before you can apply for the visa. So things like that will always be disturbing to you, all right? The movement up and down sometimes is not good. So always think, but if you don't have enough money and you don't have any other country to move, well, you can consider 
You never can tell from Cyprus you will move, of course, if you are serious with yourself. So that is how um, these two places are. Like I said, you can go straight away directly to South Cyprus from Africa using a visa. But you cannot go straight away from Africa to North Cyprus. You have to stop at Istanbul and take another flight. So that is what um, it looks like. Alright, guys. I think um, today's video is going to be okay. I am going to stop here. In subsequent videos, I'll be talking about some other countries where you can study and get a degree. Alright. So that is what we should know. Stay tuned for more content coming your way. Thank you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do not go without subscribing. Thank you so much for understanding. Until we meet again. Peace.